evening to you. I'm Sheree Palalo. And thanks for joining us tonight. I'm Mike Dardis. The local school bus driver has been removed from the driver's seat after a parent's cell phone video goes viral. Yeah, and the video shows the driver, as you just saw there, running a stop sign with students on the bus. WLWT News host Karen Johnson is live for us at the intersection in Springdale where it all happened. Hi, Karen. Hey, Sheree, you know, this Springdale intersection, this is a four way stop. And folks who live around here say they see drivers blow these stop signs all the time. But when a school bus driver started doing it, they said enough is enough. Posted yesterday, this video has already been viewed more than 64,000 times. Oh, no, she didn't. That's what she does every day. A reaction shared by many parents who saw the video. I'm, I, I'm sp speechless. I don't even know what to say. It's scary. Oh. That's a bus driver and he did that with kids on the bus? Princeton Schools confirms children from Springdale Elementary School were on the bus. The superintendent says it's inexcusable, even if kids weren't on board. The woman who shot the video says she watched the same driver blow other stop signs in this Springdale neighborhood. She shared this video with us also. Same driver, she says, a block away. I, I can't believe someone would have that type of position and that responsibility and neglect it. Well, you do trust your children to these folks, and so if that's the case, they need to be a lot more responsible. First student, the bus company hired to provide transportation for Princeton schools, released this statement. We are disappointed by the performance captured in this video, as it does not reflect first student's dedication to safety or the very rigorous training our drivers undergo. The driver has been removed from service as we continue our internal review. WLWT waited at the Ruskin Drive and Noose Avenue intersection for the bus this afternoon. Parents cheered as the new driver came to a complete stop. And the Princeton School Superintendent tells me at the end of the day, the district takes responsibility for the children. He tells me what happened at this intersection will not be tolerated, and parents could rest assured that driver will be not be back working for the district. Reporting live tonight in Springdale, Karen Johnson, WLWT News 5. Karen, thanks a lot. The name of the driver has not been made public.